Have you ever wondered how the internet is connected in between multiple countries? It is with the help of fiber optic cables. Internet is the interconnection of multiple network that spread across the world and the fiber optic cables are widely used in the creation of internet. In this video we are going to discuss about the fiber optic cables. Welcome to CCNA 200-301 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 32 Fiber Optic Cable Learn CCNA with iRush Academy I have placed the complete CCNA playlist at the top right corner of the video information bar In this chapter we will understand the fiber cable standards used to connect network devices We will discuss the differences between copper and fiber cables and finally, we will discuss the differences between single mode and multi mode fiber. So, what is fiber optic cable? The fiber optic cables are a type of cable that contain one or more optical fibers that are used to carry the light. Fiber optic cables offer higher throughput than copper cables, such as coaxial cables or twisted pair cables. Optical fiber may be single mode or multi mode. There are two types of optical fiber cable available. And what is the difference between the single mode and multi mode we will discuss later in this chapter. So fiber optic cables are the cable which contain single or multiple optical fibers. So in some cable there may be only one single optical fiber and in some other cable there may be more than one optical fiber. And what is the function of this optical fiber? The function of this optical fiber is to carry the light. When the data is sent from one side to the other side, the data is flowing through the optical fiber in the form of light. Why do we want to use the fiber optic cable in the networking industry? Because the fiber optic cables are much better than copper cable. Fiber optic cable provide higher throughput, higher bandwidth than the copper cable and the data transfer through the fiber optic cables are very fast compared to the copper cable. The copper cable has limitation in the distance and the bandwidth but the fiber optic cable has an advantage of long distance and faster data rate. Now let's see what is the difference between copper cable and fiber optic cable. In copper cable data is flowing in the form of electric signal. On the other hand in fiber cable data is flowing in the form of light signal. Copper cable is a group of multiple electrical wires and when the data flowing from the source to destination through the copper cable, this data will be converted into positive and zero value. So when we draw the graph of the data that is passing through a copper cable, we get a graph like this. Here the upper part represent the positive value that is plus and the lower part represent the zero value. Here each positive value will represent as 1 and each 0 value will represent as 0. We know that the computer is a binary device. So when this data reach at the computer side, so it receive the data in the electric format and convert into a binary format. So how the computer is going to convert this electric signal into binary format? It takes the value of positive and zero value as it is. So when we convert this electric signal into binary, it will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so this is the binary data that received at the computer side so the computer convert this binary data into a format that the computer program can understand this is how the data transfer happening in the copper cable so the same principle is applicable in the fiber optic cable also the only difference is instead of electric signal fiber optic cable use the light source the data is flowing in the form of lights because the inner part of the fiber optic cable is made by the glass medium and we know the glass reflect the light. So when the source device send the data, the fiber optic cable convert the data into a light format. So when it touch the glass material inside, it reflect to the other side. So in this way, this light source travel through the fiber cable and reach the destination. And at destination side, this light signal will be converted into a binary number. 
Then the destination device convert this binary number into a format that the computer program can understand. This is the difference between the copper cable and fiber optic cable in the data transmission. There is one more difference between the copper and fiber optic cable. That is the copper cable has a limitation in the distance. It can support maximum 100 meter distance only. That means the recommended distance between the source and destination device is 100 meter for efficient data transfer. If the cable length between the source and destination device is more than 100 meter, then there is a chance of data packet loss that result into a slower network. On the other hand, in the fiber optic cable, they have a capacity to do the data transfer over kilometers. Depends on the cable type and receiver type, fiber optic cable is able to send the data over few kilometer distance. So simply saying the copper cable has a limitation of distance but fiber doesn't have that limitation. Now let's discuss about the structure of the fiber optic cable. What are the materials available inside a fiber optic cable? We can see a schematic diagram of a fiber optic cable which contain multiple parts. So the first part is the outer jacket. It is to protect the inner components. Most probably this is made up with PVC or plastic. Then there is a strengthening fiber inside the outer jacket. Its function is to prevent the damage to fiber optic from stretching or breaking. Here we are dealing with the fiber cable and it is not necessary that fiber cable always installed in straight line. There may be some bends, there may be some tension while pulling the cable. So the fiber cable should not break. So this strengthening fiber helps to protect the core part of the fiber cable from the damage that can happen because of the stretching or breaking. The next part is the coating. The coating is a protective layer of the optical fiber. As we know the optical fiber is the most important part of a fiber optic cable. And this coating is a protective layer that is using to protect the optical fiber. Then we have the cladding. Cladding means it's a thin layer around the core that serves as a boundary for the light waves. It ensures the light stay inside there. We already said that in fiber optic the data is transferring in the form of light. So how the light is reaching from one side to another side? Because it is reflecting. Optical fiber is a glass type material that help to reflect the light. The light should reflect then only it will reach at the destination. If it is not reflecting, if the light is going outside the glass like this, then the data will be lost. Then we will lose the data because it is not going through the destination. It is going out of the optic fiber. So to prevent this situation, cladding is used at the outer side of the core. The main function of this cladding is to ensure the light stay inside. That means the cladding is some kind of material that reflect the light. So when the light reach here in the cladding, it reflect to the other side. The light shall not pass through the cladding. So this is the function of cladding. It is working as a boundary for the light waves. Then the final part or the most important part is core. Core is a component that send the light signal. It is a physical glass medium that transport optical signal from an attached light source to a receiving device. So what is the most important part in a fiber optic cable? It is the core. This is the one helps to transfer the data in the form of light signal. All the remaining parts like cladding, coating, strengthening fiber and outer jacket is to protect the core. Now let's discuss about the fiber diameter. What is a fiber diameter? Fiber diameter is simply saying is the diameter of the fiber. Fiber cable always specify in its diameter. Fiber diameter measures in microns. Microns considered as millionth of a meter. That means one micron is equal to 0 0.000001 meter. Fiber size is measured in core and cladding diameter. So whenever we specify this fiber size, we are taking the measurement of the core and cladding together. So in this picture, you can see the structure of a fiber cable. This is the core area and this is the cladding area. So when we measure the fiber size, we have to measure two parameter. One is the diameter of the core and another one is the diameter of the cladding. Whenever we specify the fiber diameter, we specify both core and cladding diameter together. Most fiber is 125 microns in size. That is almost the same size of a human hair. Multimode is typically 50 125. 
the diameter of a multi-mode fiber is typically 50 slash 125 that means if this is a multi-mode fiber then the diameter of the core it is 50 and the diameter of cladding is 125 and it will write as 50 slash 125 the diameter of single mode is typically 9 slash 125 so in the case of a single mode fiber the diameter of core is typically 9 and the diameter of cladding is 125 and we will write this as 9 slash 125 so this is the typical diameter of a multi mode fiber and this is the typical diameter of a single mode fiber so when we compare the diameter of single mode and multi mode fiber we can understand that the cladding has the same diameter that is 125 micron the difference is in the diameter of the core multi mode fiber has a diameter of 50 micron and the single mode fiber has a diameter of 9 micron what does it mean this means that the single mode fiber are very thinner in size as compared to the multi mode fiber and because of this reason the single mode fibers are easily breakable so when we deal with the single mode fiber we need to be very careful otherwise there is a chance to break the fiber that cause the inefficient data transfer through the cable and result into data loss now let's discuss about different types of fiber optic cable there are two types of fiber optic cable one is single mode that is called SMF and the second one is multi mode that is called MMF so what are the difference between single mode fiber optic cable and multi mode fiber optic cable single mode fiber optic cable are normally available in yellow color on the other hand multi mode fiber optic cable are normally available in aqua or orange color so when you see a cable you can easily understand whether it is single mode fiber cable or multi mode fiber cable because a single mode fiber optic cable is available in yellow color on the other hand multi mode fiber cable is available in two color which is in aqua or orange color so these are the commonly available color that doesn't mean that there is no other color available some manufacturer make fancy color for both single mode and multi mode fiber cables another difference is single mode fiber cable are small in diameter with a glass core on the other hand the multi mode fiber cable are thicker in diameter with the plastic core so here two difference are there one is in the case of diameter single mode cables are thinner in size as compared to the multi mode fiber other difference is single mode fiber using glass core inside but multi mode fiber using plastic core inside and because of these two reason the single mode fibers are easily breakable so you need to be very careful when you deal with the single mode fiber because of this glass core it can easily breakable as compared to the plastic core in the multi mode fiber cable another difference is single mode fiber support long distance on the other hand multi mode fiber support short distance because of this characteristics of micro mode fiber to support short distance they are mainly using inside the data center or using to create the connectivity between the nearby building on the other hand the single mode fiber cable because of their supporting long distance they used to connect the long geographical area such as in between cities metro connection etc another difference is single mode fibers are more expensive and they have to handle with care on the other hand multi mode fibers are cheaper and easier to handle so why the single mode fibers are more expensive the reason is they are using the glass core since the glass core is easily breakable they have to protect with the multiple parameter and also they are expensive because they support long distance on the other hand multi mode fibers they are cheaper because they are using plastic core inside and also they support short distance as compared to the single mode fibers that could be one of the reason they are cheap another difference is single mode fiber provide more bandwidth on the other hand multi mode fiber provide lower bandwidth so these are the differences between single mode fiber and multi mode fiber so now the question is which fiber you need to use the answer is you have to use a fiber as per your requirement you have to consider the cost of the fiber you have to consider the distance between the source and destination according to that you have to choose the right fiber cable single mode or multi mode so so far in this chapter we have understood the fiber cable standards used to connect network devices 
we have discussed the differences between copper and fiber cables and finally we have discussed the differences between single mode and multi mode fiber thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos enhance your skills using irash academy